Yo, what's up? It's never enough. Game podcast. What that shit do, man? What that shit do? Uh, what's good, Let's man? Get it. Let's get it. Head to your back, and you know where we at. Got the thing in my grass, and we living life fast. And I put that on the dub, motherfucker's cat. Hey, what you want? What you talk? What you rap for the game? What you do? What y'all? What you do this weekend? Uh, what this last week? Talent. <laughs> Talent, yo. My boy already messed up off the chilies. <laughs> oh, I don't drink chilies. chilies, man. You don't drink chilies? No, I don't. They you walked in here with a truly mom. That you was a bad cloud, honey. Now you uh, fucking love hey, chilies, my boy. Hey. You right. So what you been? What you What you been doing this weekend? This last week? Uh, this last week, just a bunch of music, like always. It's like every time I hop on here, I'm like, yeah, I've been doing music. <laughs> I've been doing music. Every, I, every I mean, if it's week, if I'm it's always, the truth. If it's the truth. It's one hundred percent the truth. I just finished up the song before you guys got here. How long did it take you to make a song though for us? I can make a I can make like at least two songs. A verse. God damn. The hook you just copy and paste. I know, I know how that shit goes, but uh, Oh, you gotta think of the hook too. <laughs> and, so, yes. and then you copy and paste. Oh. And I mix and master all my own shit as well. I d I'll write a whole song, mix and master that shit all in one day. That's if I'm really feeling the beat. If not, I could spend like a good week. Like on a song? Dedicating my time to one song. But uh, there's times that I could just actually, just in one day. It's how you're feeling. It's how you're feeling. <laughs> Should take me a week for one verse. It takes me a fucking I'm week, a yo. Slow song maker. Yeah. But, but you got one it's song that I did. My boy's trying to get perfection, though. That's why. My boy, yo, he's trying to get perfection. Takes him like. That's how it be sometimes. Make though. those straight hits. That's why I was trying to get those hits. That, man, that's how. Like me, I'm. No, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes, I don't I'm know on. why, the last time I was, like, really making hella music. I'm <laughs> on. No, no. I'll, I'll sit down for, like, five minutes, and I'll... Nigga, you see me last time. You be drunk as fucking for, coming up with some shit. I don't know how the fuck that happens. <laughs> but whenever I, for some reason, get drunk, I could just drop shit like crazy. But, I mean, hey, everybody's got different... You know what yeah, everybody has their own yeah. little shit they need. Like, some food smoke, some food to pop of it. Pops and, you know what I mean? Yeah. I could write it down right quick if I'm fucked up or smoking, but I ain't gonna be able to spit that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know yeah. what? Um, what changed my style of rapping, like when I started getting a lot better, I feel like my personal opinion was um, I used to write all my shit down, right? And then I kind of stopped writing my shit down, and you fucking told me, you were like, hey, look, fool, I never write my shit down. And I'm like, you don't write your fucking. Oh, we got a good ass memory. Good ass memory. And then he was like, "No, nah, I feel like that just kills the flow." And then I stopped writing my shit down, and I started just memorizing it. And then I feel like if you memorize it and you just go off the top of your head, like it, maybe you maybe you write it down afterwards, but you just don't look at it, and then you just go off the, the beat. And I feel like that shit. Makes I mean, it Lil Wayne harder. does it. He he goes yeah. he goes track for track. I mean, that's how I do it. Yeah, I'll do that, too. Now, see, for the songs that I write in a couple hours, I got to be looking yeah, at Yeah, no choice. I, I got to be looking at my phone. But, yeah, after rehearsing the song over and over again, it'll be to where, like, it's written down somewhere, but now it's in my head, and I could just, like, go up to the mic and be like, boom, 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 boom. When you do that, are those more, like, deadline songs? Like, you got to get it done by this time type shit? Oh, when it's, like, on the phone and I got to look at when it? When you got to keep just, like, writing it down type shit. We only got no, like the four really days. A deadline. It's just helping my my brain retain mm. the information that I'm putting down. Okay, okay. Because you know, reading it, saying it, and inputting it, that's all helping you retain that information. You feel me? Man, that's crazy how rappers, my boy, on some real shit. You want we, we fucking sometimes sound like we're goddamn uh what's that shit called like fucking praying or yeah, something. Yeah, that's what I used to say. I'm the will killer. What you, what you mean though? What you mean? What you mean? When you just be reciting raps, it sounds like you're nah, motherfuckers will look at you crazy as fuck. Yo, here listen to a beat for a fucking minute, like fucking hours and shit. That's like, what I you do. doing? All right, so what you do this week, fool? Me, dog, I've been just fucking, I've been fucking learning hella shit too. I've been learning hella shit, trying to trying to fucking retain hella hella new uh, information. But uh, I, I've been just doing my therapies and shit like that. Been what information better. were you trying to retain, though? I've been retaining, like, uh, like I've been retaining the fucking different accounts. Who are we going to talk to? Uh, who Who's working? How to man it's basically how to manage all these fucking different companies. That shit is... I, I'm over here trying to fucking talk to somebody over here, um, see where the funds are at. Where we need to, um, where we need to uh, allocate funds to, where we need to move money to, stuff like that. 
all that fucking um all the bank account shit that shit that shit gets pretty confusing yeah, that shit don't sound like fun huh <laughs> dog, that, that shit, shit fun. Like it's not even fun fool honestly <laughs> yeah. that shit is a little more fun than that dog you just made anybody watching <laughs> like, fuck <laughs> this <laughs> Fuck, fool. No, that shit. No, I'm just playing, fool. I mean, you're playing with money. You're playing with money, but god damn, dog. After a fucking while, you'd be like, fuck, that's just... It's too much. What about you, Jogi? Shit, I've just been stuck on this damn, damn fucking verse for a week. Oh, my <laughs> fucking god, yeah, I finished it today, though. I finished it today. I was about to... That's how it be, though, sometimes. You see what I'm saying? You can't force it sometimes, though, I feel like. You gotta let that motherfucker come out when it comes out. Because I feel like when you force it, it comes out, it, it, it don't come out how you want it to. It don't come out like you. When you try to act like somebody else, you be coming out hella weird. <laughs> it's good, though, because I'd be like, fuck it, I'll wait, I'll wait three days, three days, four days. It don't matter, because at the end of the day, if I if I did hella quick, I was never going to say what I did in the fourth day. But you, you need to have a time limit, though. It was going to come out the same, so. A time I, limit. If I time, time limit, that, fuck that. Either that, or you need to, like, sit back, take a break from that, and then, like, listen to other artists to refresh your mind, to see what's happening out there right now, because... You could always be you, like rapping how you rap, but sometimes you need that little fire under your ass, like, oh, what these motherfuckers are, are like? They trying to pop right now, like, oh, hold on, oh, what, what motherfucker? Uh, that's what I feel it. That's what I feel it. Every time when I'm rapping and we ain't got nothing, I'm like, uh, you need some shit to put you up or some new, some new shit to keep you that going. Should've, that should have happened to me. I'll be like, ooh, motherfucker, I just put that shit down. Come over here, turn on the beat. I'm like, man. I think that's one of the reasons why, honestly, we were really fucking, like, out of everybody that was rapping, when we were, like, really rapping, like, we were really going back to back to back, I feel like that's one of the best reasons, and if and if an artist is listening to this, that's probably something they should take, find yourself a group of people that are all different, and all got different strengths, and then... Different when, styles. Different styles, but also... You want them to be strong, nigga. You don't want to. Be, no, you don't want you no don't want some niggas that are crap. Like, so you, 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 I mean, you gotta find somebody like Solid when he first got out of Fouts. He was on some crazy shit. You I'm know? not gonna lie, this motherfucker come out this with fool, some shit. Yeah, so it was just like everybody's. Me, I get obsessed with that shit. I, I be, I be stuck on the fucking computer like 24 seven. This motherfucker comes through, drops his shit right away. Here he has his shit memorized. Motherfuckers have their own little strengths. But yeah, sure. You know what I do? Mm-hmm. Fuck it. If I can. I, what they like, boosts it up a little like fuck, fuck the English shit. I just gonna say something Spanish. You feel me? Uh, 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 hey, hey, that's the shit that really has shit popping full when you do some shit like that. It takes Thank shit to the because you got a much more wider range of shit to do it with. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I fool Joker. That, that motherfucker be, be spending Spanish shit like fuck. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> dog, nah, that's all in the thing, dog. Keep that shit on your head. It's hot as fuck in this motherfucker too. This, we had the bunny ears up here. He's just like. <laughs> That was but yeah, ridiculous. what's what about you? Oh me, man, it was a big ass up. learning. It's a learning week. This this week was a big learning week for me. All right, so how basically what ended up happening last week? Last week, look, bro. Tell him, honest, just tell him the truth. No, to be honest, <laughs> bro, to be honest, there's never really a like a fuck up, a struggle that I can't keep up with because I've been through some shit that I think like a lot of motherfuckers really couldn't fuck with. And I'm not even talking about street shit or anything like that, but just in general. But it was fucked up. Last week was a fucked up week for me. Like, I don't know if I told y'all some fool was trying to sue me for like $30,000. Yeah, he uh, told me. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, me and my brother, off some shit that we really, it wasn't even our fault, but it was our fault because our name was on it. You, know you have to be saying? careful, though. You have to be careful. You got to be careful. But at the end of the day, that's the price that you pay when you in business. You got It's you're risky, these, bro. You're taking these risks. And you got to pay to play, bro. And sometimes that shit happens. But that's how you know if you really, like, what kind of a man you are, bro. You got to stand on your own, too. And really be like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about this $30,000 lawsuit, nigga. I'm going to... I do. What the fuck? What the fuck? I do. Give me those $30,000, oh, my boy. Because look, bro. You don't you like that shit? Give me it. If you're I ever, ain't tripping. Because this is how I feel like it goes down, right? You're at the bottom. And when you're at the bottom, you're trying to work your way up. And you're thinking, hey, when I finally get my way to the top, I'm right. round blind. No, 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 not even like that. But when you finally get to the top <laughs> and you get yourself already up there, people think you're going to be chilling and it's going to be all good. But it's not like that because then at that point now, you're just trying to protect everything that you've worked hard to get. And then when you get to that point, that's when like rich folks, they're they're worried about they're worried about their money. They're worried about their money because 
that's when why the rich folks try to sue them. You feel me? Like, oh, let, let me sue this motherfucker. Let me sue him. That's why they're always suing the fucker. They trying to sue each other to the top. Yeah, no, and that's when you. That's when <laughs> I've been seeing like, that shit. I've seen that shit. Though. That's when it's important to take into account things like an LLC, a limited liability company, or even an S corp that'll protect yourself Ooh, from situations like that. LLC. Because once you own a home, you can't have a, a regular like a sole proprietor. I mean, you could, but you're yeah, putting you yourself could. at risk. You gotta have things like an LLC and an or S corporation, which is what we have already lined up. So, in place. so they don't go for your money; they go for the company's money, or what? Exactly. Yes. The they, they, so if something does go wrong, the company is liable, not my personal assets. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's I something think, that that we are already in place for. But that that's something that's that? something that I, I had to worry about. Turn that shit off, my boy. So that's something that I had to worry about last week. But I was really just like, you know what? I'm not tripping because look, at the end of the day, I was telling my brother this the other day. I was just thinking to myself, like, look, dog. When you at get the end rich. of the day, nigga, I came from nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I know I'm not going to go good. I know. You I, were talking about that shit. I did. We came from nothing. And sometimes when you go in this situation, you got to remember that. Come on, bro. Let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let yeah, me I said tell, tell. You, you already said your, your weekly thing, dog. You know what <laughs> so, I So, I was talking to my brother, bro. We were on our way to Dublin, like, this week. And I was just thinking to myself, like, honestly, you got to keep that same energy, bro. You got to keep that same mindset. You got to constantly keep thinking to yourself. Fuck the money, nigga. Fuck all the money. At the end of the day, and you know what? I had told my brother something too that was that, that said to me because people say that money just money. Um, but anyways, it's nothing. I dealt with that lawsuit shit. It's nothing. I already fucking made that nigga happy. It is what it is, and we keep moving forward. Nigga, I took a little loss, a couple bands here and there, but it is what it is. Took it on the chin like nothing. But now it, it gives me to my other point. All right. Now my other point was this. Um. They have a saying, right, that they say is money doesn't do nothing, but just amplifies what you already have or the person that you already are. I don't believe in that because I believe that now you got to keep you got to stay in that broke mentality, bro. You got to stay in that grimy, like struggle mentality, because if if you switch it, if you start getting all this money, you start, that shit will go to your head, bro. And for you to even obtain something like that, you have to change somewhat. Because you're obviously not the same motherfucker you were when you were younger. Now, I say, whoever a motherfucker is when he has no money, that's who he really is. You see what I'm saying? Because if a motherfucker has nothing, let's say, for example, you got nothing and you never go have nothing, no matter what you do. You're going to do some you, you're shit. Not, you're never going to do nothing out of money. You're not going to do nothing with an incentive to do it. You're just going to do something because you did it out of your heart. You know what I'm saying? So then that's what keep, keeps me thinking, like, all right, look, bro, fuck everything. But just to keep not saying I'm going broke or nothing, you know what I'm saying? Everything's <laughs> straight. But I'm just saying, you got to keep that mentality at all times. And that's what I, that's something I learned this week. What that, mentality? Be, like, be be hungry? If you could name it, what would it be? Stay humble? No, not stay humble. Um, Stay like the person you was before you was stay hungry. balling? Man, if I could name it, man, I'm trying to think, bro. What would be one word to name it? Um, man, I mean, uh, look, you know, I, look for me, for me, it would be one word. But for other people, it might be something else because they have to be true to themselves. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So to me, it would be stay dangerous. Yeah, that's not <laughs> even one word. <laughs> what the okay, fuck? Damn, you got me. Well, that's what I would say. That's me. Uh, that's that's my mindset. Whenever I go into a meeting, whenever I go into a place where I might have other people talking, you're going to gang, place, gangster mentality. I didn't say that. You did. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say gangster. Basically, mentality. you I that's said dangerous. You you go back into like boom. I'm ready to get it. However, yes, however by, I didn't by any say, means. I didn't say gangster mentality. I said. A gang- I mean, everybody's a little a little a little gangster that like you put in the situation. Not everybody's a little gang. No, no. Look, my point is this: everybody's true self is a little different. My true self. To me, if if I'm put in the spotlight, when they look, for example, we're about to go into a little meeting, me and my brother, with some fucking employees and shit. Mm-hmm. You got to get into the mentality like, bro, you got to remind yourself, where did you come from? How far did you come to get here? These motherfuckers can't, can't do shit like to be in my shoes. You know what I'm saying? 
You're here for a reason, bro. You didn't. These motherfuckers can never be like me. You gotta start putting all that shit together, and you come up, and then now all of a sudden it's easy to talk to them. You gonna scare money away though if you come if you start coming at people aggressive. You gonna scare them away because there's different type of people, bro. You talking to executives, they gonna be like, "Fuck that. This was crazy." So why, fuck, get the fuck well, away. I, I didn't say executives. I said like your employees. Oh, okay, yeah. Because right? because so, in the employee world, sometimes that shit you learn. That that passive aggressive shit that we learn in the streets is the same shit in there. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes people get scared to uh, approach people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they want to act timid. And you got to remember where you came from, who you are, and then you you direct. Hey, bro, what's going on? What's going on here and there? Bam, I need answers. What's going on with this? This, this, that, and the third. I'm sure you can relate, right, son? To a level, yeah. yeah you gotta. Right. God damn, I turned that bitch up a little bit too much. You gotta, you gotta take that with you wherever you go, and let that evolve with wherever you're going in life. You can't just tuck that away and then decide to bring it out, you know, just to, you know, out of nowhere, because then you're not gonna know how to use it properly in the right situation. And at that point, you might be using it uh, off of emotion. You might be mad and just be all like, come out of nowhere, like, what motherfucker? Woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? There's you gotta learn. <laughs> you gotta learn. I can to, see him doing it too. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> learn how to use that same energy that you know what we're talking about the foundation, right? Where you come from, from nothing. You feel me? The grimy shit, the shit that made you motherfucker that survived through some crazy shit, right? You take that and you let that evolve, like men do. Men, like humankind, evolved, right? So it's you let that go ahead and evolve as you progress through life and you learn how to use it in different situations. You just need to figure out what those situations are and what is the correct way to approach each situation. You're not going to learn without making some mistakes first. You might snap a couple times. I snapped a couple times. We talked about this already. I was all like, what? And then after that, later, I was like, damn, I fucking went crazy on this right now. Took it as a lesson learned because I did kind of get a hold of myself after. I was like, look, man. My boy snap. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was like, snap. I apologize. I did not mean to come at you like that. But I just, you need to understand something about me is that you cannot come at me like that. Cause or I'll, I'll slap you. I'll meet you. <laughs> I just said, I'll meet you right there. Like, I'll, I'll meet you at however far you're trying to go. I'm going to meet you right there, but I don't want that. I'm trying to take care of you. You're a good worker. And I just, I, I'm going to feel uncomfortable if I walk away from this right now and just leave you alone. Because I care about you. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of mind state you evolve into. See, back then, I would have been like, fuck that. This would disrespect me. We fucking, I'm taking off. What do you think, Yogi? I don't know. I really don't tell nobody what to do. <laughs> it's not about telling people what to Your do. Opinion, though. It's about how do you, comp- how do you, um, what's that word, bro? How do you carry yourself as an older person, you know, as you're going through life? How do you carry yourself with other people that you I might? Mean, he's not hella old though. But I didn't say he was. Ass. I said as you get older, how yeah. do you carry yourself as you move through life? Man? Shit, if I tell the truth, man, I really don't really fuck with people like that. You feel me? I only fuck with y'all, really, and a couple other motherfuckers. So I, because I already know how oh, everybody boy, that's is. That's social. You, you feel me? Because look, man, because I don't want to go make new friends and shit for what. For what? So that I could, so I have to go do like do the same shit you guys just talk about. Nah, I rather kick it with my people that I know is good. You feel me? If I do have to fuck with other people, I'll probably be I'll be fucking with people that you fuck with that you. I, if I see, I I trust his decisions and I trust you guys' decisions. Mm-hmm. You know, so if so I know that, you, if, if I know you're good with yeah. them, I know you're good with me. You feel me? Other than that, like that, I, that's me on a personal level. Mm-hmm. See, on a personal level, I don't fuck with other people. I only fuck with everybody in this room and maybe people who they fuck with. And that's out of fucking, it's out of rarity. The, well, only, I think, the only time I see you guys, like you two, is like from the podcast. You know what I'm saying? The only time I see a cameraman over here is when I did a podcast. Yeah, get your fucking phone away from me. Yeah. Second time static. I do that shit, yeah. Uh, yeah, turn that shit off, though. Yeah, but if I'm at work and shit, yeah, I fuck with people. Like, I, I had this boss. This motherfucker didn't like me for shit. And I was his hardest worker. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. But what you know what? You, you, have, made, to, you I, have to be I should make you work extra harder. And that motherfucker ended up liking me. Exactly. That's you know what, what I'm talking about. You have to be a conversationist. Remember the shit yeah. you were telling me about that book? What's it called? Which one? That book. You 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 told me about that book. You said it's... um. The go. fucking that one that one. Hey, uh, you want a drink or you just want? Or you want some water? Water? Uh, Thanks, good. Lots of drink. Okay. You have water. to know what you water. want. 
You have to know what you want. God damn, I'll be talking I'll be I'll be talking about so much shit. Dog, <laughs> you said a book, you say you have to know what you want, and to know what you want is the hardest thing. After you know what you want, it, oh, it gets shit. easier. Yeah. Because you attract it. What is it called? I have no idea, Fly. That's uh, you talking about the law of attraction? No, not <laughs> the law of attraction. It's fucking it's the Who, Napoleon Hill? No, fucking po- Napoleon <laughs> yeah, Hill. Yeah, that's my nigga right there. Yeah, Napoleon Hill. Right. You, all right, look, man. Let me let me touch on this subject real quick before we so we do that. So I agree with what you're saying, but I feel like what are we talking about? Okay, so basically they started talking about something. Else. So we were talking about that one subject right right now about um basically um not forgetting where you came from. Yeah, but but it was it was kind of like so this is how I kind of use that. Now my employees, bro, they're cool, dude. You know what I'm saying? And you know what they do? They're my team. I fuck with them. I try to put in a family atmosphere. But sometimes these guys are not the not to disrespect them or anything like that, bro. But they're not. Don't say anything that can be used against you. Oh no, no, I'm not using you know them against me. I'm just saying, look, bro, look. It, it goes through different levels of life. How are you gonna treat somebody? So yeah, you evolve with that mentality, right? But I'm not gonna lie to you. I had to also take that mentality out of my shit, bro. I had taken out of my shit because I've used it in order to to talk to a lot of uh, for uh, for lack of a better word I'm gonna say a lot of white folk, right? I had to get in their circles, and for me to get in their circles, I had to completely get rid of that whole mentality of of how I approach people. Now um, that goes back to that book when we were talking about in the last episode, a couple episodes ago, when I'm saying like how to get a raise, you know, how to get a fucking a, a, um. How to move up in a job. You feel me? Are you How, talking about life scripts? Not life scripts. Uh, uh, the book I read is called Seven Habits of Highly Effective. No, no, not Seven Habits of Highly It's um, How to Win Friends and Influence People. That it's book right life, there. Life scripts. Is that Dinner Card, too. Car- Card- but there, is another, there is another book, and it comes from a, a, a company called Skill Path that makes a bunch of classes. Now I remember the fucking name. Remember I was talking yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's how you forgot it. Yeah. It's called Skill Path. <laughs> So you look up skill path, you can see all the classes they have for uh, uh, supervisor, manager development to help you. And uh, two of the ones that I took that kind of relate to what you're talking about, which would help you to better utilize it instead of like what you just said, putting it away, is uh, one of them is called uh, uh, becoming familiar with your emotional intelligence. And the other one (laughs) is um, uh, how to put anger to use in the workplace. Okay, now I understand that. Now, when I'm saying things, it's not a workplace. What I'm saying is going out in the world and finding people and that I can use. For example, what I was saying about that designer lady that I use for, for, for my company, I literally cold called a bunch of architect companies like that. And I already had something in my head, which is what I was going to tell them. I had to change myself in order to do it. Now, the majority of all my jobs is coming through this architect. How do you change yourself, though? I didn't... I, well, this is how it is. You got to change your mentality, how you look at things. But that mentality that we're talking about, that I learned growing up, I still use it. But to be honest, and without trying to disrespect anybody, like, don't feel... It's kind of for lower-level learned people. So, like, people that are not very educated... Learned? That, I got <laughs> 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 <Hey! laughs> Thou shalt not learn it. Wait, no. Hey, dog. I understand what you're saying. Okay, so the, low, it like so a the, so the lower level of education of people, they don't know how to articulate their thoughts into words. So you got to be more passive aggressive with them. And that goes more into like street shit where you go in and you kind of, hey, come over here. Hey, let's do this. Hey, hey, da, 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 this, that, and the third. That's the only shit that, that people that are not very educated understand. Now, if you get to hire people that are more articulate, it gets way more trickier to post these people. They look at aggression and they get scared of no run off. They won't even fuck with you. So you got to kind of squeeze your way in there. And the and you can't do it doing it that way. So that's why I say I do mature. Like last week, bro, I was tripping. I even told my brother, like, bro, I feel like I'm back in 2015. Like I'm getting into a hell of fucking confrontations with the lower level niggas that I'm working with. But that You're was aggressive, just... Dog. You're aggressive. I really, but 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 was I aggressive when I was talking to the designer? No, no. Am I aggressive? We had to know by the maneuver. Exactly. Yeah. 
So, so I'm smart enough to know that I can't do that type of shit with this person, but I only do that when I have to, when I feel like I have no choice. This person's not understanding what I'm saying. The only way you guys understand is the passive aggression. So that's just what I wanted to hint on. I I do evolve with the situation, but I know who to do it with. And and if you're trying to move up in life, to like for example, let's say we're doing in the music industry right now, and we're trying to link up with some high ranking niggas up there. I wouldn't come at them in that in that way. I, I'll probably come at them and say, hey, you know what? Um, I see what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I really like what you're doing. Is there any way I could be of service to you? Can I help you in some type of way? And then I'll get in his circle. And then once I'm in his circle, now I know all his contacts. I wouldn't just come at him, you feel me, on some gangster type shit, because he's probably too smart for that shit. And he'll be like, bro, this nigga's on some other shit. Let me get away from him. Because you have. I have done that. <laughs> I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God damn, I've been in that situation before. You can't and scare the money away. You can't scare the contacts. You can't scare the money away, man. <laughs> that's like a, Which you I do, remember though. a couple of them motherfuckers. You too, motherfucker. Man, <laughs> that's just that's good. That's it's because you have to learn from that shit, though. You can't be approaching people with that same. You have to, you have to know how to talk to people. Do you guys ever education. get afraid to show love to certain people? Love to like how? Yeah. Afraid? Yeah. What you mean? Okay, so I know you. We've all had friends here that have passed away, mm-hmm. and when yeah. you attach yourself to somebody or your name or anything like that to people like that, um. You kind of had to go off on a limb. Because, look, I attached myself to you, you, and you. I and mean, if something was to happen to somebody that you, like, love, that you hold dear. Yes. It kind of it kind of, it kind kind of, of forces your hand on certain things. You know what I'm saying? So the more people you let into your heart, the, the more risk you're taking, in a sense, right? So it kind of makes it hard to fuck with people when you first meet them. Especially when you've lost somebody that you really give a fuck about. So, like, for example, that's why, and I might, this might sound fucked up, but y'all, y'all correct me. Like, when I first had my son, I really didn't try to love him, to be honest with you. <laughs> because the I, the I'm not did he say that? I didn't catch that to the last okay, part. check it out. When I, when I had my first son, I was in prison, bro. I was in St. Quentin. Oh, then that's why. Oh, small okay, jail cell. No, my, my point is this, though. I wanted to love him, but in my head, I'm like, look, I've never been controlled by another person, and I didn't want this emotion to control me. So I fought it, and I fought it, and I fought it. And when I got out, I grew to love him. Well, yeah, because that's not the right... I mean, in the place you were, that's not that's not the, that's not the right place to get soft either, so... So where would you think... Uh, so you're saying that as soon as you have a child, you're immediately um, attached to it? Well, uh, I'm, yeah, you are. I I was. I am. I'm not saying that you're not. I'm just saying. I think it was just the place that you were in. That did you, did you, you hear what happened in to Nick Cannon? Huh? Did you hear what happened? Oh to Nick shit! Yeah. Boy, I seen that shit, my boy. I thought he was lying. Boy. I don't think he really felt that way. <laughs> well, oh, the way he, he said the story for him to feel those emotions. No, by the way he said the story, uh, I was like, and then and then why would he why would he even put it out on blast like that if you really fucked with yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. You you're putting. It's so you can never compare somebody to other people because every human being is different. So the, the how fast you may attach to your, you know, your child may differentiate between him, him, or me. I, exactly. This is an open conversation. So I'm putting my opinion out there for you guys to start into the conversation Shit. and give your opinions on what I just said. Well, that was my opinion. Shit, I lost it. So you didn't know? Well, 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 share how how closely you felt with your kid, and if you think that was okay, or even if it was okay, why would you put it on blast for the the TV to see? I thought it was fake. Boy, well, I thought it was fake. The way I I I, I didn't th- I didn't, I didn't like the way he he said the story, smiling, smiling, smiling. To I think he was planned out. The whole story was planned out until <laughs> the very end. Say the sad part: the kid, the, his kid passed away. He was smiling the whole time. How can you hold a smile when your kid died? I would have been crying if yeah, I was like, bro, there ain't no smiling. Oh, there ain't no stories. There ain't no having no, like, trying to, trying to, I wouldn't have to work. Trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to work a, a story up all the way to the very end, then, and says, uh, at the very end, his, his son died. I, I could tell you, I could tell you this, cause, I, like, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Yogi, shit. That yogi say something, cause you have yeah, more experience than us in this situation. Yes, I, I lost my kid when she came out the first day. You feel me? Uh, August 13th, like 2014. What? 13. Right there, um, shit. Yeah. She came out the first day, you yeah. know. She she passed away. All uh, fucking, you know. 
And fuck, I felt that shit. You feel oh, me? Oh, shit. Hell yeah, you feel well, I didn't me? even know that. Shit. Shit. When, that when, when the baby comes out screaming. You, you, ever, you ever heard like a like a scream that just sends chills on your spine? No. No. no? You ever played that one game was back in the day where you got to follow a little, a little track and then a fucking exorcist comes out and it, it scares everybody? No. <laughs> okay, well, this moment, yeah, yeah, my baby yeah, that a big ass scream, you feel me? And that shit's embedded, embedded in my mind. It's going to be there forever, you feel me? But yeah, hell yeah, I love my little girl. I only seen her for that one day, but we had bought her shit already. We already prepared for it, for, for, to see her, and then she's going to just go on one day, you feel me? So I feel the cat, yeah. hell yeah. And everybody takes it in different. Everybody's yeah, not the what, same, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like everybody <clears throat> takes it in differently, and also depends on how... Yeah, I got a little legs tattoo right here. Yeah, yeah, no, that's just... Oh, tiny. that's damn. what you had right there? Mm-hmm. Damn, dog. Hey, Yogi, but you guys knew so when, that was going to happen or not? Nah, hell, that just happened out of nowhere. Damn, so it was a shock. Hell yeah. Yeah, but see, at the end, it's, it's all how you take it. Some people have thick skin, some people act like they got thick skin, but they be the motherfuckers that be the, the wounded the worst. They, 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 feel they, put, they put on, like, they put on like, like a, a front. Yeah. I feel like... Uh, I'll, I'll be crying out, mama. I'll be all, I ain't Given sure. that he went out publicly and said anything, I would have been. You know, it, it takes a lot of heart to even admit any, any of... Like whatever type of pain you're going through, especially to an audience of people of not that the world, uh, I seen it actually this this morning when I seen like uh, the video of them crying and everything, and I felt like it was genuine, and I felt like he's a strong man and he's actually turning, you know, instead of saying uh, of mourning, uh, he wanted to celebrate the short life that his child had. That's a better way for you to uh, emotionally repair. At an early Shit. stage, because if not, you start uh, being in doubt and you might fall into depression. Now, what do you think, Yogi? Since look, you actually went through some exactly. Shit. Shit. That's, look, you have the full, look, you have the this real like experience. A, look, at, you remember how Drake didn't tell the world about his baby? Yeah. Remember? And everybody found out. Oh, you felt, yes. Okay? Drake so, had a kid, yeah. Yeah, so this is like that, too. He's a big celebrity. He's some, he, you know, he's a big person. So if he keeps that away from Vidya and they found out, imagine how it's going to make him look. You feel me? Like, oh, you trying to hide your baby's death or some bullshit? You feel me? It's a whole bunch of shit they can pop Oh, imagine if Drake's baby would have, like, passed away or died. Yeah, and I'm saying, like, imagine if uh, Nick Cannon would have never said nothing about his baby dying and he would just kept it a secret. I mean, you can only keep some shit exactly. secret for long. Yeah, when you're a public figure or, like, you're famous or whatever the fuck, like, have some type of publicity going on with you. Exactly. If he chose not to ever say anything about it, he would just only suffer backlash. Yeah. And, and it would hurt him in the long run. So he's a smart man for bringing it out and talking about it because, you know, I'm pretty sure that's what's fucking bringing the revenue in for him and his family. Yeah, yeah. I've had situations that have been fucked up, not as fucked up as that. I can say that's that's horrible. But I I I don't share that shit with people, to be honest, and I don't feel comfortable like being that vulnerable in front of people because it's a real emotion because you don't live that lifestyle. He's in front of the camera every single day. Not every like day. He has his own show, whatever it is. He's on the camera way more than us. He's obviously way more comfortable expressing himself to the public and audiences. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got some balls for that guy. I probably tear the fuck up. I wouldn't even want to do that shit. I That's what I was I telling you. I, work, I, I, I wouldn't even be able to put a smile like I he did. I wouldn't have to work, dog. But, but, see, but see, look, look, look. The thing is this, though. You remember this? He prepared. He's been prepared. He, they did knew she had brain cancer. Yeah, so exactly. it prepares you for... If he just happens all of a sudden, it's called shock, you know? You know, like, it's a traumatic moment, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. A traumatic That's, event, you know? But if you get to prepare for it, prepare for it... Which do you think is worse, Yogi? Damn, that is... I feel like when you know, because then you're doing everything you can to spend time, like, with that person. Definitely, for sure. Yeah. When you know, full um, fucked up. But it's also either or. I feel like it's equally as, as like even when it's unexpected. When you don't because know, it's, it's when it's, it's when it's, it's unexpected. Like with me, when Big Boy passed, that like I felt like I went into shock mode. Like it's like as far as like uh, pain and and crying and all that. Like that didn't happen with me. With everybody else, it did. You know what I'm saying? But with him, like I literally felt something like. Like, real shock. Like, that shit straight hit me, and I was just like, oh. To me, it's always been a shock. That shit made me get Like, cold. you said on that song, you feel me? What, uh, murder on my mind? Never. Oh, uh, shit. F- what you say? You said some shit that had me like, what the fuck? It was like, uh, 
Shit, I know. I, do, I like that verse. I forgot. Man, what the fuck I said. Fucking, I'm going for a guy that's the like, verse. It's always a surprise. You feel me? You never know what the fuck. It always seems what murder when it, it always seems to come out the cuts. I'm talking murder. Nice. Murder when they seven when the guns gonna bust. Yeah. It always seems to just come out the cuts. I'm talking murder when they seven when the. Uh, that's how he said it. That yeah, it's, it's the way you say it. Yeah. It's the way you say it. Now. Yeah, like shit. When my little girl died, I probably I already had experience of the hell of all her friends dying. I shit. I, right. To tell the truth, but it's gonna be different didn't cry. Time. Yeah, nah, that one was a little. Was it different? Did it really hit? Hell yeah. Damn, I would never want some shit like that to happen to me on Mama's phone. Yeah, but Damn. see, but see, look, uh, right, like right you're now. not gonna, you're not gonna find out right away, but you're gonna have to find if you, you're gonna have to find out a seed of a, 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 a you're gonna have to find something good about it, you know? Because look, I thought about what it, can man. You find if, good about if, that, if my little girl never died, she was supposed to be uh, uh, my son would have never been born, you know? Because my she it was I had one daughter, then she passed away, and then my she passed away, and I had the chance to have my son, you know, and then. If I so if it wasn't for her passing, my son would have never been born, you know, because oh. they were born it was just, they, he would have never been born. You oh, feel okay, me? Okay. And if my like my dad passed too, if it would if he would have never been passed, I probably would have never had a baby with the same baby mama I got right now. You know, so you everything always, happens I, for a reason. I, I'm not yeah. saying for happens for a reason. I'm just saying you have to find good something good about it. Because well, it's going to eat you out. How serious do you take these losses? And for example, Nick Cannon's kid died from cancer, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when you're coming into like a hell type of thing, are you even like, uh, to be honest, I want to know y'all motherfuckers because me, I'm a little different. How do y'all take health in general? You guys taking care of yourselves, getting checkups and doing all that shit? Or are you just like, fuck it, you know? That shit is super important right now, bro. There's hella people that burner got cancer, bro. I know, I know, I know mm-hmm. people that got, he was it, smart, that got he cancer right to check now, bro. He knows it ran his, whatever, you got to find out your family history and whatever you got and go get checked for it. Cause that's what it, you know. I got I got checked uh, like a year ago, and they said everything was straight with me. You got you, you got screened though. You got screen checked or what? I, I was just blood work. Blood oh, okay, work. Okay. We usually check all that bullshit mm-hmm. unless I got like a fucking tumor somewhere that I can't. Feel. <laughs> I feel like usually that's what happens because tumors are something that you cannot feel. It's not a part of like it's not supposed to be there. I, but, I feel like nobody likes to talk about stuff like that, but it's it's, it's there. And, nah, and people need yeah, to be aware. Nah, we here to talk about this shit. Yeah. Motherfuckers don't want to talk about. I will not go to the doctor, nigga. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking scared, fuck scared fuck nah. dog. And you know what? Hey, why go? Why, why look at it? Yeah. Yeah, I told like, this motherfucker like two days ago. I'm like, hey, bro, let's go, let's go get scanned. Nah, why? I feel He's like, like why? I want it to be a shock. Dog, yeah. why would I put myself in the position of knowing that? Bro, dog, because, because you got your early, nigga. What is going on? Hey, you today, no, dog? when you God calls guys. your number, my boy. No, you, you, know, you got a chance, bro. You can fight. Yeah, because <laughs> I know somebody. I know, I know somebody that got it, and bro, they're fighting. I feel you. And you know what's a trip? How, how, uh, like you know, like. Our Mexican parents and Mexican hey. ancestors that came from Mexico, they trust the Mexican doctors oh, more than the oh, U.S. Good. ones. I would not go to Mexico. Yogi, we just had a fucking doctor I, come from Colombia, my so, boy. Yeah. And the doctor just talked, remember Puerto, the Colombian doctor, nigga? Yeah, yeah look, there's a good-ass doctor this fool came with. That's what Yogi just said. That Mexican people trust Mexican doctors. Mexico. 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 Yeah, no, that's, well, he's Colombian, no, nigga. That's facts. He's Colombian. That's facts. He just yeah, came. Yeah, he yeah. talked. He's, he's shopping it up. He, I he got some good ass medicine. So you agree that you? So you will believe in some? Uh, you'll believe in another? Okay, but tell them about because, the fucking nigga that got blurred for having the rusty ass scalpel. Because look, there, there's a lot of things yes. that the United States will not do that other countries will. Oh. The Come United on, States, man. look, United States wants to make money off the medicine. Well, yeah, That's why they feed you hella country, bullshit there's, sometimes. There's countries that, that are like, uh, you pay whatever the fuck, and they'll like inject stem cells into you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The United States does not do that. Oh, they, they, just, they don't got so much rules because asked, the United States want, wants to make hella money. He That's just what they want to do. If you pay. And then countries, if you pay, because I'm pretty sure there's hella Mexicans in Mexico that do not get good Yeah, they don't got they money. Yeah, I, Same I, thing here. You have to pay. But it, oh, to yeah, pay the pay, to pay bullshit. But Yogi, Yogi, cells? to pay here, to pay here is a lot more expensive. All right, all right, but but what are stem cells? Fuck, I forgot. Stem, stem cells stem is stem. what we produce inside our our, our marrow, our so bone, our bone marrow. Bone marrow. What's no, that's are marrow. Using, so um, they're probably using it from like uh, uh women who placentas and stuff like that. Placentas, yeah. placentas. Yeah. And they use this stuff mainly in Mexico. It's safe, but why do they not use it here? They do. You just gotta have money. 
abortion. They use it in Mexico, but they go to Mexico, you put it in you. But you know what? That goes back into that whole democratic shit where motherfuckers say that the Democrat Party is really fucking really killing kids and shit, using their blood to replenish themselves. I don't know. I'm kind of crazy. I have conspiracy theories. The Germans are doing that. that Nazis were doing that. I don't know if y'all seen some shit like that, but I did see that. I did see that shit. I did see that shit. In Mexico, bro, I was just over there like in a couple, you know what I'm saying? They have little kids that go missing all the time, bro. And their yeah. organs and everything yeah, like yeah, that yeah. gets harvested for you. Gotta be on point. And then who comes and buys that shit? Fucking Americans. Exactly. Man, That's what I'm saying. I just want to change the subject real quick and just say uh, R.I.P. to Lagger. Oh, yeah. Trust the yes. peace. Yeah. Yes. Man. For real. He, he was Cancer, like, nigga. Yeah. yeah. You see I, what the that's fuck what the fuck I was telling you. Making beats and stuff. That's like that what the fuck like I was telling you, my boy. Yogi. Some of the other homies and shit. And uh, he was a very talented individual. I got a chance to fucking finally meet him for the first time on uh, 13 Questions with Vince Vega. And, uh, you know, he's a solid-ass dude. Wait, did, and, did uh, you talk to him or not? Yeah, I talked to him. What did he say about it? Like, Well, he just said that, you know, it was there since, you know, he was younger. It was just a little ball in the back fighting? of his head. And they checked it, and, they, and the doctors are all like, oh, well, you know, it's, it's probably nothing. It's probably going to go away. Damn. And then it turned into cancer. And then now... Fuck. You know, it was it was back there behind his uh, behind his brain stem or wherever it was at, God and damn. it just kept growing larger and larger to the point where he couldn't uh, walk or talk anymore. And then, Swear uh, to fucking God, dog! Know, when I see I him, told you, I when fucking I seen told him, you. He was walking and talking. He was straight. He was walking and talking. He was taking meds for it and everything. And it was it was looking like from what he told me, he had a fighting chance. And then out out of out of nowhere, you know, I heard that he wasn't able to walk or talk. Because the tumor was growing like fast. Fuck. At, at like, well, at, that's back. That's it controls the whole. It's just yeah. spying, fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, look, RP, condolences to him and his family. For real. You know, shit like that is fucked up. You was know? he getting checked up regularly? Or did he let it pass a lot of time before he got I checked up? I didn't know his full medical history, but I knew that he did get a checkup and the doctors did see it and just said, oh, it's probably nothing. So, yeah, Speaking about cool, that man. cancer shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, my girl, she had like a little bump in in her back next to her spine, and the doctors, uh, her mom actually, rest in peace as well. Um, she made sure that they cut that shit out because they're worried about that being cancer. Because that's usually the process with things now. If you don't know what it is and you can't feel it, and it's like something like an abscess, like something hard. They just want to cut it out instantly because they don't know if it's cancer. Well, you know what I think? Look, I was talking to my brother about this. We were having a whole little trip on this type of shit about cancer, right? And I feel like we didn't really give a fuck about cancer, right? But the reason why we didn't give a fuck was because... It's not, not in our genes. That shit wasn't running. My mom is in genetic cancer. I'm, my dad ain't dead from cancer. My grandparents aren't dead from cancer. None of my family has history of cancer. Get close to Mike. So it doesn't yeah, really either. fuck with us, right? There you go. Now, but my dad happens, was my dad was an alcoholic. So then that lets me know, okay, be point. But we've never died from shit like that. Like no. my whole family has died. No wonder you're an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. Hey, my whole family has died. From, from murders, game, dog. yeah, game shot, like, my grandpa. I know that we we've all died just from like getting like straight murders, straight battle wound, battle. So what about Slim Four Hundred? You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's another. That's look. That's the exactly look. That's what I was telling Yogi when he first came. I was like, I was like, look, fool, we can't be out and about because we're public figures, regardless if you don't see it like that or not. At some form of degree, we are public figures. We're on YouTube. Our faces are shown. We are an influence to some. At one point in time, we were influenced to a generation of people who have grew up, whether they loved us or they hated us. I feel like we're still influenced of to course. people. Of course, no, that too. Now as yeah, well. exactly. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, is that it could be somebody. It, it don't gotta be a, a new hater. It could be a hater that's been watching what we've been doing since we were fucking in 2010. Well, I you think a lot of that energy you put out into the world yourself. Exactly. So, Slim 400. He put, put out, out a lot of energy. Oh, yeah. shit. Look at how many songs we got on YouTube. Like 500? Exactly. Man, and all the energy, energy we put out. 500. Yeah, but <laughs> songs of energy. Nah, but he actually <laughs> went to New York. And that for energy for doesn't run out. That motherfucker, he can replay that's it. A, that's 503 minutes. Of that's just in the ether right now, floating through Mars with everybody. Through the whole solar system. Look, look, let me. And at the top, the city. 
Got to keep the shit burning, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, number bro, two. I, I, look, to be honest, bro. Now I, I feel like we can't be judged for the shit we're doing. In the past, Slim Four Hundred was doing shit consistently, oh, no, disrespectful, no, no, no. motherfucker, dog. Me, the, the thing uh, is, we get paid. We pay for stuff that happens in the past. We don't really pay for the present. No, because hey, some of us have already paid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, my point do. is, everybody everybody has paid in, in, in a yeah. But if not, it's coming. So, so look, my point is this. Exactly. Yeah. I try my hardest to put out good vibes and and put out good ass energy and and I don't like to fucking uh, what's that word called? I don't like to fucking uh, I don't like to uh, manifest perpetuate a lifestyle that I'm not living. You feel me? So I don't want to be out here like being negative and putting out fucked up energy, but at the same time, I could die very easily. Off of the shit that I've done in the past. And you know what? If that's my fate and that's what it holds, then it holds it, dog. And I'm not tripping. But when I'm talking about like Slim 400, I think he died the what same way. I would, I, I would die the same way that he died. What was it, though? I think he died because he was a gangster. Bro? Not because he was a, a, a gang banger, like banging actively. So, but let me explain what I mean. And then you guys can, can, can say what you want to say yeah, about this. Please. Okay, so check it out. From what I heard, he was sitting in his car. I saw the video, right? He's sitting in his car. Somebody walks up to his car. I don't know if you've heard, but L.A. has been fucking... It's basically rampage, like the, right, the, the, fucking the purge right now. Oh, you like think the police no officers the just said it? They said, why, hey, why, why us, they say So the police officers just said, do not come to Los Angeles right now. Um, we cannot control the people in Los Angeles. If you are a tourist... Please, we cannot keep you safe. We cannot even keep our residents safe right now. It's crazy as fuck this right now. Like, everybody's crazy. Each other. But it's been like that forever. No, it really nah, not. Yeah, that shit calmed down, bro. I, I, I went out there. That shit calmed down. I mean, down bro, bro, no, no, no. I mean, no, it's been like Me that and forever. My brother, Yogi, you remember when we used to pull up to your house in the middle of the night after going to LA, me and my brother on some wild trips to LA. It was not like that. But, it was, but, it, but what I'm trying to say... It's that it's always the world's always been like that. I'm not talking about the world. In LA, LA yeah. it's always There's been like that. It's LA, bro. But it, it was like that. that. But it oh. wasn't like that. Yogi, I was in the certain times. It gets crazy. Like, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I, I, it's not like it was not like that. Man, I'm telling you, it's always been like that, bro. I'm telling you off of my own experience that it was not like it, that. I, I mean, it, it's LA. Boom. What do you expect? LA, still, sometimes bro, it is. Isn't is like LA the gay capital of America? Look, and I'm right now, it's look, wild. It's, it's right wild. What do you expect? Fuck, huh? I'm not trying to be disrespectful to nobody from Los Angeles County or Los Angeles in general. I fuck with y'all. It's all good. But it was... But uh, my personal experience from being in both sides, my brother's been over there since he, when he was 18. He went over there. He got blurred by the boys. Hey, them motherfuckers. Them of the boys ain't, pl- they ain't playing I, out there. I've been bro. out there on some... Guns and even, dope. Guns I, and dope. That's all I want. I've been out there on some not even rap shit. It is way more crazy over here. At that point in time. That's why I'm trying to tell you. It's not the same. Now, right now, for them to say that, now it's like, hey, th- there has been moments where Switch is correct. Yes, Oakland's been crazy as shit as, at a point. But has been crazy as shit as a point. Los Angeles has been crazy as fuck in the 90s. You get what I'm saying? It switches off and on. For them to say that now it's like that again, now you know it's crazy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? If exactly, they're telling you, so my exactly. point is this. My point is this. With Slim 400, let me just make my point real quick. With Slim 400, bam, a, a guy pulled up. He aimed the, the pistol at him. He said, what's up, bruh? That fool looked back at him. When he looked back at him, it, it, it was an automatic shot. Slim 400 instantly jumped out and grabbed the gun. Bam, bam. Two shots, fool. This fool starts... He's still grabbing the gun. He's got he's strong as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Then this fool starts running off. He's running. This is like by the the garage. Now this nigga's by the street. Slim 400 is still grabbing the fucking gun. They bat 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 again. Bat bat. He's still grabbing. He's trying to fight this nigga for the gun. And this fool just bat bat. Then he stays down. He runs away. That's what happened, right? For the viewers, if you're listening, that's kind of like how it went down. I so what did that, that tell you though? What I'm that- trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to play that back in my mind. Okay, so the first thing that comes to my mind is, number one, this nigga didn't want to kill him. Because if he wanted to kill him, he would have started shooting as soon as he saw him. You see what I'm saying? So if you, if you, and then another thing is, if you know your target, you're not going to just pull up and just ask him, what's up, bro? You're going to let him have it and you're going to dip. The reason he shot, 
I 100% believe is because this guy was a gangster, which is slim for honor. Why? Because he's got history of being shot. He's already been shot twice, two different occasions. He got shot one time, nine times, and he got shot another time, like, fucking five, seven years ago. He, he should have been twice. prepared then. He should have been prepared. My, no, my point is this. When someone pulls out a gun on a gangster, automatically thing that goes through his mind is this nigga's trying to kill me. So, so it's, it's, yeah, I know. So if somebody's trying to kill you, you're going to either duck, and if you see the barrel, you're going to jump at it because you know he's in your brain. You think he's going to try to kill me. I got to jump for the gun. Try to take that shit from him because this might be one of my enemies, right? Now, you jump for the gun. What is this? What's the gun? What's the guy with the gun going to do? Now, maybe he was just trying to rob you, but now you jump for the gun. Anybody right here knows if a nigga tries to jump at a gun from you and you got it on him, he he's might take that shit from you. It's to you, so you're gonna pop out. You know what I'm saying? Back up. Then he's no, you're gonna pop out, shoot him. Yeah, back up. But what yeah. if the guy's still grabbing onto the gun? You yeah. gonna have it a couple more times till he gets the fuck off the gun. As soon as Slim already got off the gun, he walked away. So if you ask me, I feel like this guy has been scoping out that house because supposedly that's not his house. He went to visit his dad. Maybe he thought it was an inner elderly gentleman. Now, let me tell you this. Let's say you're not a gangster. You're a regular fucking civilian. And someone whips out a gun on you. What are you going to do? Most likely... Take everything. You're not going to do shit. You're not going to jump at him because you're not a gangster. You're not going to risk your life. You don't think people are trying to kill you. I don't know. I seen a whole bunch of... Uh, hold on, hold on. 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 I'm not done yet. I hurry up. Look, me, from my perspective of being... If I was a civilian and someone whipped out a gun on me... Civilian, regular nigga, right? Like, when I mean civilian, I mean think of the most squarest person in your family. Not the nigga with the concealed carry permit. You don't give it up. Not the nigga with the concealed to carry permit. I'm talking about the most squarest fool in your family, which is what a nigga's thinking he's going to do as soon as he runs up to rob somebody. You're going to put your hands up and you're not going to run at the gun. You're going to put your hands because the only reason you're going to run up at the gun is because you're a gangster in your mind and you think this is your enemy. He's, he's going to kill you. Bro, can I finish, yeah. bro? You think he's going to blow your top off. So that's why you're thinking that. But if you're your dad or a civilian dude and someone wants to bang on you, you're going to go like this because you already know you didn't do nothing to deserve it. And he's going to say, give me everything. You'll probably already know it's a robbery. Give me everything you got. Here you go. You're going to give it up. The only reason that's going to make you jump or act some type of way is because you're a gangster or you've been a gangster. And that's what's going to make pop out. That nigga freeze up and try to bust. I don't think the guy was trying to kill him. I think that the fact that this nigga's mentality had already been shot twice made him jump up to grab the gun and made this nigga buzz and kill him. And if you watch the video, that's what I think happened. Definitely, definitely, there's motherfuckers out here that are super civilians, you feel me, that got motherfucking bangers ready to go. But the majority of the time, if you've ever been on some type of a lick shit, that's not the type of person that you think you're about to lick. And if you do, then you're sadly mistaken, and that's where you fucking die. But that's what I think. Now y'all motherfuckers just let me know what y'all think. I think at first I thought it was some gang some gang related shit. But then I started thinking about it. We talked about it earlier. And then I started really thinking about it that, that it was a robbery. But he was so already traumatized. Not traumatized, but he's so yeah, aware because yes, call it yeah, call cause, O C D? Yeah, because you already PTSD. you already think someone's about to smoke you, so somebody's whipping out a banger on you. What you gonna do? You're gonna be like, oh, this fool's gonna kill me, so at least I'm gonna try to defend myself. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go out regardless, so I need to at least do something. So he thought grabbing the grabbing the rifle, whatever it was, it was a, it was a pistol. Was a good idea. It was a rifle. It actually looked like a pistol. It was a rifle. You could you could see the video. It was a rifle. Everyone said this rifle. Huh? I think it might have been like a 22. <laughs> because how the fuck is that nigga gonna shoot him that many times and he's not dead? Shit, adrenaline going through you. Shit. You seen that yeah. shit though? I he had I thought he was. Because how's someone gonna drag a nigga with a pistol? Nigga, hey, a no, no, Everybody but look. It was a rifle. But when they, they say they say when you um when when you pass away, you you clench up, you stay in that position. So he would probably he probably already metamorphosis. Like um no like you 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 clench up. It's like a dog. Have you seen a dog when he dies? Um, hard. He's no. He, they stay stiff, bro. And you 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 stay in that position. So he might he probably already. Uh, I don't happen that fast though. Uh-huh. It takes a minute. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know too much about that, but... Seen it first hand, huh? Huh? Oh, no, 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 I'm just fucking with you, dog. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting stupid, dog. All right, all right, so what do you think, Sonic? 
Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I ain't got nothing to say. I'm, I'm going to go give you, I'm gonna, you want another cup of silence? Man, I took, I, that's I why I took off the headphone, bro, because that shit's falling out. What do you think, silent? Just be careful with that fucking cord right there, dog. I'm going to what you think, dog? Well, like I was saying, so I understand, I understand what you're saying. You're just trying to basically, regardless of how we got there, whatever, just put it in the perspective that I'm there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, at that point, what does survival mean to you? And you got to understand if you're in a, if you are in the right position, I would have died. Fight or flight. I would have died. I like him because why though? My mentality is telling me if someone whips a gun out of me. He's trying to kill me, not rob me. I probably, yeah, no, I hear that, but I probably wouldn't have tried to reach for it. I would have just like, oh shit, and I wouldn't have been there without anything. So my thing about it is, is that, but but Slim, how do you know it wasn't look, in his lap? Slim, look, Slim knew better, bro. Slim knew better. He 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 was just paying tribute to Dolph. He was just gonna be like, hey man, I'm smoking this for Dolph. Woo woo blah blah blah. You know he fucked with Dolph, so. That should have painted a picture all by itself right there for him. If you're if you are a public figure and you're out and about, don't just be showing up to neighborhoods without people that, that are gonna have your back or let alone by yourself and not have anything. And you, you need to always be aware of your surroundings. You know, people like us, you know what I'm saying? Um I mean, just look at it. What was he doing over there that late? You know what I'm saying? What were you doing in well, your car? Well look, well, look, I'm talking about already in the situation, to be honest with you. Already which... in the situation, if a motherfucker just hopped out and just had the gun at me, it depends on how far they were from me. It was already to his face, dog. If it was to my face, then yeah. I probably, oh, I, yeah, I, I yeah. I would have grabbed it, too. Yeah, that's how it's top. But, but to it be was, honest, if depends. you were a civilian, you wouldn't have done yeah, that, dog. Yeah, but he's not a civilian. And that's, that's why I'm mean. saying we would have all died. His mentality got up, in there. Well, I believe he fucked up. Being in a fucking driveway, who? being in the car on your fucking phone, and letting a nigga even get that close to you. Who the fuck is this motherfucker? Why is he there? I would, if you're going to be on your phone, go inside your house, my boy. You saw that dude from Inglewood already got his fucking face lit up on the live, on the fucking car. You know what I'm saying? But my point is, if you're already in that position, the reason he died is because he was a gangster, bro. Yeah, I mean, look, RP to him too. You feel me? This motherfucker. Rest in peace, Slim Four Hundred. Rest in peace, Slim Four Hundred. They get caught up in situations that all relate to each other. At the end of the day, it's exactly what I said. If you're a public figure, you're gonna be out there, like, out there, like, especially in but a neighborhood. But you can be a public figure you and not have harm. Martin Luther you, King. Oh, uh, you need he to died. Be ready to die. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on, you name bad examples. Know, you need to be ready to die if you're going to be doing it. It's that. true, it's well, true. Well, you got to stand true. for whatever you're ready to die exactly. for that you're putting out there in the public. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, you feel me? We're talking about gangsters. Cesar Chavez? We're talking about gangsters. I'm not talking about gangsters. That's what you mean. fuck you up. No, we're talking about public about. figures. Oh, okay. So, oh, sure. Martin Luther King. Gang- I'm uh, talking about a gangster that is a public figure. It's different. What's your definition of a gangster? Come on, dog. I mean, I'm just being honest. I'm not talking so about that. You, you said a public figure. If you, listen. Martin Luther King was a public figure. He got killed. Malcolm X was a public figure. He got killed. Um, uh, Cesar Chavez didn't get killed, but he was ready to die. You know Ma- what I'm Malcolm saying? Malcolm X. I ever said Malcolm X. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, I guess, so I guess it's just motherfuckers die for what they believe in. You got to die for something. I guess, like, that's what we were talking about last time on Dolph shit. Maybe we shouldn't talk so much about this death shit. Yeah, that's what I'm about to tell you. Because that shit ends up fucking really bad. It's yeah. what's going on. Like, what the fuck can we say, nigga? There is, there is a lot of fucking like way nigga, out there. Nick and his son died. You feel me? Slip 400 just got killed. Last week, uh, the, two weeks ago, young Dolph died. Lagger just died. Like, what the fuck is going on, nigga? Like, you can only talk about what's happening. Shit, we live in a dangerous world, man. Everything trying to kill us. You know what I mean? It shit ain't friendly. Once you think it's friendly, that's when you get fucked up. You have to be on your toes. You have to be on your All toes. All time. Fuck yeah. Every with, day. No matter where everything. you go. Or at least be appreciative of what you got right now. Of life right now at the moment. So what are you guys doing, each one of y'all, you know to what? Uh, extend your life or your health? Sammy, you know what I think these motherfucking the rappers should start doing? Uh. Stop wasting so much fucking money on chains and get some fucking guns. Get some security. What are you doing? We, motherfuckers think they pussies because they got security. I don't give a fuck, boy. If I had that, all that money, I'd be strapped the fuck up. Each one of my niggas gonna be strapped up. We gonna be good. We gonna be out there like that. 
It's just like there's no there's there's no reason for you to have that much money and not be carrying something or at least have some body armor on you. Come on, man. Come what do you on. Think, Sally? What do you think, boy? About what? About what Joey just said. Now stop spending money on this goddamn jewelry. That shit ain't gonna save your life. You better get strapped the fuck up. I know. Look, if you can't, if you're going to be in a jail, you can't get a gun, whatever you do, you buy the motherfuckers. Get some security. Motherfuckers rolling around thinking they ain't gonna get caught and they get caught and it's the end of them. You know, you can't be riding around like that. Nowhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's only human nature to understand someone else's mistakes after they've made them. So you would think that after this shit has happened a couple times, people would understand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I think I think they think it makes them look soft if they got motherfuckers around yeah, them like that. Nah, it's pride. You that's know, all, that's all. It is. I don't give a fuck. But you know, life's a gamble. Hell yeah! And uh, motherfuckers want to play that shit enough, they're they're eventually gonna lose their hand right there. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta fucking play that shit right. And then how long do you want to be somebody that's perceived as something? How how long is it gonna take? Like, how long would you want people to look at you as uh, the person that you once were? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you already done lived that life and all you're doing is music now, cool. Stick to the music. Do that shit for real. Lace up youngsters. You know what I'm saying? Give back to your community and all that. But when you're trying to intertwine everything like this and you over here, so you're doing all this music and you're a public figure and all that because niggas are watching you and what you're doing and they're following you, right? That's my, like, that's an example of a public figure to me. There's many examples of uh, public figures. But when you're doing all that, and then you're still tied to the streets, that sometimes that don't go like this. Because then you got all eyes on you, especially when you, you're, you're constantly showing what you look like, your updated tattoos, what you drive in, etc. So when you put yourself in that situation, you just need to be ready to die for it. And if you're going to be ready to die for it, then you better be ready to fight for your life. You feel me? Like you said, like, have niggas with you or have some on you. But if you obviously don't care about that no more, you probably just got way too comfortable. Shit. Yeah, yeah my boys get way too comfortable. That's what I think it is. I think that what it has a lot to do is the systematic, like, termination of our people. And I know I sound like I'm on some race, like some fucking activist type shit, but... Okay, check it out. This is how I look at it. I can't defend myself in these streets legally. You feel me? I got my gun rights taken away from me already for some shit I did when I was a youngster. So I can never own a gun legally again, which I'm trying to fight for, you know, and I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to look into legal action into being able to do this legally. But the problem is I'm basically defenseless to the United States is what they want me to be. And you know what? They're right to try to make me defenseless because I'm not a regular Mexican person. I'm not a type of person that will just abide by... Look, the thing is this. People like me, I feel like are people like Martin Luther King, like Malcolm X, like people like that, that they want to die. And they want me to die one way or another. You see what I'm saying? They would have loved me to stay in prison and die there. But I didn't. And now they probably hate the fact that I'm out here. Now, my point is this. Uh, I don't... I, I, the, okay, so what happens to our our youth? The Chicanos, what happens to the youth? Our youth grows up, and they, they want to carry a gun. They want to carry a gun, not for bad things, for survival, right? Which is our rights by the United States Constitution to protect ourselves. But the thing is, we're not educated in the United States Constitution. So then what ends up happening is we think we have to buy some shit illegally. Because we don't have a father, because the majority of the Chicanos' fathers are already in prison. Which they took away the main fucking male from the household to be able to do something. So he ends up having a gun. He might do something with a gun, rob somebody, shoot somebody, who knows, he gets a felony. Then what happens with that felony? He can never have a gun ever again. So now you're forced, and I seen Boosie do an interview with DJ uh, DJ Vlad for I mean uh, yeah on um, Vlad TV right, for the shit, TV. and he said some same shit that I be thinking that a lot of other people be thinking. They bring us out here. The only people that got the 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 fucking the the uh, rights and shit like that is people that are not our type of people. You get what I'm saying? So you got motherfuckers like us. 
We can ever, we can never have a gun again. How the fuck is that fair? So we can never protect our lives ever fuck again for some shit we did when we were hella young. And now the situation is. That's why we got to get motherfuckers inside. No, that's why we got to get our, No, that's why we got to get our kids, my boy. On point. Teach them as little kids. Bro, you can have a gun. You don't need to fucking have an illegal weapon. This shit here is to protect your life, my boy. If someone's trying to kill you, if you do some stupid ass shit, like do a crime or commit a felony or a misdemeanor for no fucking reason, you're going to get your shit stripped and now you're a fucking victim. You don't got to do none of that shit. You can be a little kid, take your son to the shooting range, teach him how to shoot at nine years old legally. He can have his own gun friend, but we didn't know that shit. So then we out here doing stupid shit. We get our shit took from us. Now our kids, I'm trying to raise my son to know that he's got his gun rights. He can have his shit. He, he got to protect himself. He can shoot. He can do what he got to do. Because I got my shit stripped from me and legally I can't have shit. Right? And that's what they want. They want us to be in that position. So that's the shit why I feel so strongly about it. And our people just keep going more and more to the same shit. Uh, and, and that's what I'm saying. We got to teach our kids. One go get a fucking, There's go get a, uh, 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 go get your yeah, fucking yeah, concealed yeah. to carry yeah. permit. Yeah. You know, take your kid to the shooting range, teach him how to shoot, teach him to stay away from trouble. Because look, we were young when we got mixed up with all this shit. We thought that we did it for our own safety. Now the, the thing is, we really fucked up our own safety. <laughs> you feel me? Because we can't even have a gun now. But the thing with that is, is that in order for all those things... Somebody has to stop with us. Somebody has to stop with us. Somebody has to stop with consequences. Okay, listen. <laughs> it starts with us. All right, teaching them. But yeah, I think it's the end. The thing is, is that, like, you also got to make sure you don't put yourself in situations mm-hmm. that can lead you to be taken out of your child's life. Like, yeah. Standing in another neighborhood trying to show some love or just be seen. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like Slim 400. Well, Slim 400 was in the Inglewood blood territory. He was in, and you know what? It was a gang war. So I feel what you're saying. A neighborhood. That was warring with another neighborhood. You should not be out and about. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? But who am I to say? You know, every, you're, each is so. Everybody, you're right. everybody got their own business that's going on. But the thing is that if. People want to preach about helping their kids out and putting them on the right path. Then you need to make sure that you take care of yourself and put yourself in a position to where you cannot be taken out of your child's life. Well, Slim Four Hundred never preached about none of that. I'm not saying. Shit, as far as we know, you know. As far I I tapped in, I've never seen that nigga one time say anything like that. But what I'm gonna say is this: I feel like in our people, but the thing is, is that he had a kid. Did he? Yes, he did. I didn't he know. had a three-year-old. Young Dolph had a kid. He so, did. So these are all successful men with kids who have the knowledge to put their kids on. That's why I'm putting the concept into play. You know what I'm saying? There's knowledge to be passed on to put your kids on. You learn something. You're successful. You got that one thing that makes you different, that is getting you that bread to support your family, that you could pass on to your, your uh, offspring. Definitely, I agree with you. Everything that you said. The only thing that I say a little different is like when I was talking about earlier in the show, what I said is um, money is great. Yes, teach your kids all of that, but remember you came from nothing. Who, who who's the one? Who's the first people to come out with paper money? I I don't know who the Chinese. <laughs> I didn't even know that. And because of it, six dynasties fell. What? Oh, mamas! Sorry. How the fuck did that happen? Because money's nothing but debt. I mean, what the fuck do you mean by you got, bro? Get more fucking <laughs> money, into what the fuck you're so, saying for the viewers. So, boy. money is nothing but debt. Okay, there's, there's gold is the you know, like material like metals. You feel me? Precious metals. That's the real value. But these fuckers start printing just paper money. With, they can't even back it up because they don't even got the gold for it. So basically, the more money you got, the more debt you got. Because the money's not even there. The paper money doesn't have no worth. It's not backed up by the gold. It's only... You feel me? You get it? I feel like it's just the way to control everybody. Money is. And that's why I say, you'll know what a person's true nature is and how they really act whenever they're broke. When they don't have anything. But I don't think that's something that you shouldn't try to achieve. 
Oh, hell no. Yeah, because you need that, bro, to even be able to change things in your own life and other people's lives. And you can use that as a gift, but definitely remember who you came from and always try to act and move like you don't have nothing but your integrity and your pride and your character because at the end of the day, when this world is over, shit, that's all you're going to have to take with you. Except for young Dolph, he got a fucking 24 karat Careful, man. Damn. Yeah, I was like, damn. All right, let's answer a question, man. Let's answer a question for one of these people. We are down to the last 15 minutes. Uh, y'all look up a question. I'll look up a question. Okay, look, this is what uh, Anthony Hernandez on the last podcast said, man. Y'all ready for this? What do you say? He said, when you guys drop in the album together, though. Have we already? I told you how I work. Silent, dog. Silent. You gonna make me do the bird man fucking? You know <laughs> hey man, I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. Yeah, we yeah we do need another baby recon. Uh, we do really do. It's, yeah. Remember we used to do. Another we used to be like one album. verse, one verse, one song, one yeah, song. You nah, feel me? If we did a Wizard of Love tune album, we can make that shit happen quick. We might even be able to pull Rhino out to fucking cuss wherever he's at. <laughs> oh, I think we could do that about a month. The whole thing. Facts. It just depends on how how much time you guys have. Because everybody has like their own personal time that they got to actually do things. I do this for thrills, man, not for bills, baby. So <laughs> I got a lot of uh, fun times ready to get in this motherfucker. Yeah, I time. got a lot of free time. I mean, shit, I could drop shit. I, mm, I'm trying to drop some shit. Yo, you came up man. in here talking about you ready to yeah, drop some shit. You guys got to practice I am. Weeks, though. Y'all said a month and it's fucking... Uh, no, 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 I said we can't do it Yeah, there we go. I never said there eight months. There we go. <laughs> there we, go. <laughs> now, we can do it in a month. That's right. <laughs> what month, huh? Appreciate that. We but hell yeah, we finna get something. We should get something popping though. Because you know what? I was watching your last podcast and you're telling me, you're not telling me, but it's just like you were talking to me. Because uh-huh. I felt that you were like, uh, like, yo, you! you know, yeah. Uh-huh. You motherfuckers, do you feel me? When you're the only one doing shit and you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta just. I want to go into clarification on that last, on the, on the podcast that happened. Look, just because you guys don't see what we're doing, we're not the type of people to put all our business out here. We just, you know, we do this for y'all. We're trying to help our people, help everybody coming up, but we don't put all our business out here. We constantly already working on musical shit. We doing shit on behind the scenes. Y'all don't know about this, that, and the third. The reason why we don't put shit out here all the time like that. And then old boy says some shit about pillow talking. Huh? So, pillow so talking. Uh, look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna address old boy. This is something talking about pillow to talking. Pillow? Talking to old boy. <laughs> okay, let me uh, let me uh, let me let me address him so he can get. Res- so you can get directly addressed. And I ain't saying nothing to I me. Mean, just speaking his real uh, trap tunes. You both be down, low, t- low, low talking about each other. White boy want you to rap more, but there's probably no money in it, and that's far-fetched dream. So you'll go, you're, okay, hell of shit like that, whatever. Okay, first and foremost, I'm going to address this whole shit right quick. I'm not going to do this every fucking comment because y'all about to see this podcast blow up and we're going to have too much comments. No, no the, way, the more comments, the more money. <laughs> yeah, but look, this is what I'm going to say. Yeah, go ahead. Leave more comments. Okay, so this is what I'm going to say to old boy. We've been rapping. We've been doing shit low-key under the scenes. We just don't like to publicize it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, it's not a far-fetched dream. It's a dream that's going to happen. And we're going to make it happen. And we a whole team and a crew ready to make that whole dream happen. Um, but definitely, he's not a hater, bro. He just saw his own opinion, but I appreciate what you're trying to say because he wants us to uh, address him to know that what's actually going on. He really wants to know what's going on. He's a real fan. Um, at the end of the day, though, um, yeah, we're doing the company, but we also, we're not doing this shit for play, bro. We're trying to get money doing this shit, too. Uh, behind the scenes, Yogi's, you feel me, doing his part. Silas doing his part. My brother's doing his part. We all doing our part. We we not we not letting up, my boy. Yeah, nobody taught us how to do this shit, motherfucker. We learning. We from the bottoms. Okay, so um, uh, let me address something else. Uh, from business making money, the 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 workers when first starting about business. I think it's okay. okay, pillow talking, bro. You need to be clear. What would you say when you say pillow talking? Because there ain't nobody here pillow talking. Pillow talking about what? I mean, that pillow, you see a pillow. I mean, pillow I mean, talking that, that, that when, you, when you fucking another nigga's bitch. girl or you having you doing something. And He's trying to say that we're saying shit on the low, yeah, which we're not. You speaking to a female okay. about 
shit about niggas who you funking with or about other things that are going on or about, you feel me, things that will incriminate you or your people, you sitting there pillow talking to a female. That's pillow talking because what you're doing, you're laying on the pillow, caking up on the phone or with her in person, caked up, you on the pillow, pillow talking. Oh, you fucking. sitting there up in somebody's fucking <laughs> oh, boy. Can we get shit where the, that the bitch ain't got no business knowing? No business. Know. That's pillow talking. That That's is pillow talking, my boy. But I know what he was hey, trying to say. I know what he was trying to say. I understand, but he's trying to talk about it on the low. But that's not what he said. Yeah, he said exactly. pillow talking. Nobody hears pillow talking. What we are doing is talking. Now, if you want to say we try to say some shit low key, that's great. But don't say pillow talking because yeah, that's he's probably hella high watching the podcast, yeah, nah. huh? Now we need a little bit more Could clarification. Be. Like, if there's a specific question, go ahead and an- like ask it. And if it seems like something that we feel like answering, you feel me? Like, if it seems like you ain't on no bullshit and you really genuine about what you asking, he's not a hater. He's we're not we're a gonna hater. get to it. Okay, so then he might be genuine about what he he's fucks asking. with us and he just wants he, to really know. We should bring him on live one day. But the pillow bring talking thing live, doesn't huh? really make sense. So maybe the way that you put it is wrong. Incorrect. You just gotta word it a little bit different. Yeah, incorrect. Definitely. Mr. Incorrect terms? Serio. Incorrectly. Come on, dog. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, shout out to you, my boy, though. I've been watching your shit. Thank you for keep watching our shit. He said he's been watching all of our shows, so I appreciate that, bro. Nothing but hey, game, man. Nothing game, but game, game for the ass. Never enough game, you feel me? Hey, uh, tell about ahead. that Facebook, though. We dropping that Facebook. Like, comment, subscribe. If you comment, I've we can react though. to your shit next time, bro. Keep notifications, talking. notifications Leave too. Leave a comment every motherfucking time. Subscribe. This shit ain't free, motherfuckers. Yeah, For real, exactly. y'all gotta show some love, mother. Y'all yeah, watching this? Y'all wanna see some more? Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, right. y'all gotta contribute. Hey, who Ooh. else? Who else? Well, at least uh, subscribe, subscribe you though. See, like, hop on and the share that shit though quick. too. Share that shit too. So yeah. motherfuckers get Yogi. gamed Yogi. up. Yogi Yogi might just lucky. I ain't high. I'm a quiet motherfucker right now, but. But yeah. All right, so we finna cut this motherfucker short, man. So, uh, just, uh, stay safe. We out you. We out you. Yeah, next week.